So we have Madam Web reviews finally dropping. Keep in mind they embargoed this movie until today. Not really a big vote of confidence in the movie when you do that, in my opinion. And you can see why. Here is, from The Independent, Madam Web branded an embarrassing mess as Dakota Johnson's Marvel film finally surfaces. So this film is not being very well received. In fact, some people are saying Morbius is better when it's not good. We all knew this movie was going to be a mess. I don't think anybody is surprised by that. But we're going to go through some of these reactions, and they're very funny. But before we do that, let's take a look and see how the movie is doing across the country. I love it when people do this. So this is where this thread starts. So it starts with Alan from Film Threat. Is my Madam Web ticket has just been purchased. I hope it's worth it in IMAX. And he posted this February 12th, one day ago. He's the only person that bought a ticket <laughs> in the best spot at the theater, actually. I don't think I'm going to see this in IMAX. I want to review it for Flashcast. But I, I think I'm going to find a much cheaper way to watch this movie because it's going to be bad. And I need to be able to pause the movie and do something else for a minute before it makes me angry because of how bad it is while I'm watching it. Now, other people are posting pictures of their theaters in these threads. Not a lot in this one, but we can go ahead and check Nerdrotic's thread where they have some photos of other theaters. Uh, this is his theater. And just like Alan's, nobody's there. Got a group of people here, probably some uh, women without a date. And then there's two right here. I, I wonder, like, is anybody going to take their date to this or is this going to be a Galentine's Day movie? <laughs> That's where just a bunch of lonely women go and hang out with each other because no men want to take them out on Valentine's Day, which I bet is going to eventually become bigger than Valentine's Day itself eventually at some point. But no one's going to this theater either. And there were a couple other posts in here. Oh, here's another one. Now, Joe here says, considering there isn't another decent cinema around for 60 miles, so this is kind of probably a small town theater or something. So they actually have a lot of people at this one, it looks like. There's going to be some people that go see this movie. Uh, that's that's a fact. It's gonna make It's going to make some money. But this was the big hook for the movie, a Valentine's Day movie. So you would think that more people would be going to see it on Valentine's Day. Uh, here's another one. This is at the TCL Chinese Theater. And you have some people in the middle. This must be for a big IMAX. Yeah, IMAX experience. Look at that. Some people in the middle, that's it. Nobody else. Got two people down here in the front. That's it. So, oh, this is my favorite meme when these these movies that fail come out and they take the Dragon Ball, let's fight someplace empty. So they fight in the empty theater. We also have Tom Connors. No one has bought a seat since I showed it this morning. And as you can see, four people at that theater. Uh, here's another one from Adam in H-Town, Texas. Uh, this one's... Fairly okay. It's got a few people in this one. Uh, he checked another one right here. This one has nobody in it. This movie's going to be a disaster. Here's another one from Andy Smith. Nobody. You got two people right here. That's it. Empty theaters galore. I'm not shocked. You're guys, you guys listening to this video, watching this video, probably not shocked. But it, it's always fun to be able to show receipts. And I would imagine there's not going to be a lot of people rushing out to see this movie. Just a guess. Just taking a stab at it. I think it's probably going to be a massive flop. And hopefully, after this movie fails, and after Craven fails, and it will, they'll finally stop doing these stupid Spider-Man-less Spider-Man movies. Nobody wants these. 
Nobody wants to see these. Nobody wants your hypno hustler movie. Nobody wants your movie about that wrestler that was in one Spider-Man comic. Nobody wants this shit. What people want are Spider-Man movies. And you could have had Madam Web in a movie. She could have been in a Spider-Man movie. Yeah. Stop doing this. Because you know why a lot of these characters aren't showing up in these movies? All these bigger villains are like... Okay, they gave Mysterio a movie, a, a, a weird version of him. But the reason you're not seeing Rhino or Craven's Last Hunt or anything is because they're holding them to put them in these stupid spinoff movies that nobody wants. Nobody wants these movies. So they deserve to see nothing but failure with them. A joke. They have, like, discount Spider-Man Rip offs and like give them all spider costumes. What a desperate bid for money all of this is. And it's going to fail. And it's going it, to, I think it needs to make about $400 million to turn a profit. Good luck. Good luck. I'll give them that. At least they kept the budget small for this piece of shit. So. A lot of first reactions. This is from the Hollywood Reporter. And this was the big one. Morbius was better. That's pretty damn telling because Morbius is a giant piece of shit too. But here's another one. Madam Web is an embarrassing mess. Talented stars wasted on probably the worst comic book movie I've ever seen. Filled with atrocious dialogue, awkward editing, and all around laughable structure. I sat there baffled, scene by scene. Someone approved this. The memes will redeem it. I like Morbius. Morbius. What made Morbius worth it, I guess, is the memes. That didn't make Sony any money, but it made all of us laugh. My favorite is the one where they're, like, making fake box office numbers for Morbius, and they have him doing that bring it on pose over the pictures. That shit was funny. Uh, Here's another one. Madam Web is totally fine. There's really not a lot to say here. The leads are charming. Dakota Johnson is a witchy weirdo. The slasher final destination meets superhero vibes are there, but there's just not a whole lot to it. Not a disaster, just kind of there. I'm sure this is going to be a disaster. That's okay. It sounded like he didn't like it and he didn't hate it, which I think is a fine take. A lot of people are probably going to have those takes for it. I will say this. At least most of the women in it are attractive uh, from what I've seen. That's a rarity. That's a, So there, I said something nice about it. Uh, Madam Web is a clunky, poorly written, messy, and sloppy movie packed with some mediocre editing and performances, even though it had solid cinematography, cinematography and an interesting concept, it couldn't be saved due, its, due to its terrible execution. Full drop on the review at nine. It was unfortunately, it was not unfortunately successfully I was not unfortunately successfully entertained. Madam Web is a series of misses and wasted opportunities, but not just for obvious reasons. I watched Madam Web and it was bad. I tried to give it a chance, but sadly the poor execution didn't help it. The cast was awesome, but the performances were definitely disappointing. It goes on and on and on and on. Nobody likes this movie. And I don't blame them. So, empty theaters... Bad reviews. Uh, Normally, you know, I don't like to take the critics at their word. But, I mean, I just, I'm pretty confident that this movie is going to be a piece of shit. And I don't think there's very many people that disagree with that take. Because it looks like shit. The only reason this movie exists is because some dumbass at Sony saw Marvel was making the Marvels. And they thought that movie was going to be a huge hit. So they said, well, let's have an all-female superhero movie that we can do. And let's put it out a few months after the Marvels. And it'll ride that movie's billion-dollar coattails. Well, shocker, nobody liked that piece of shit. And it flopped and failed horribly. And so is this movie. Because nobody was asking for these. Anyway. That'll be pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments. What are your thoughts? Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.
Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.